Caitlin Clark continues to set records. Let's talk about it. Hey, so amazing. amazing. Uh, you see how they playing? Uh, live wire. It's all about sports and entertainment. Uh, you don't want to miss it. So official like you never seen. Keep it going till the whistle blowing from the referee. Uh, everything from highlights and stats. You know that we got to run it back. Whether on the field or the court. You know that this is where it's at. Uh, subscribe, no delaying. Uh, this is live wire. Uh, sports and entertainment. Let's go. Hey. All right, so Caitlin Clark is continuing to dominate the airways, the viewership, the tennis records, so forth and so on. Yes, Caitlin Clark right now has the ratings has come in for the Indiana Fever and the Minnesota um, Lynx game that happened on, I think it was Friday on Ion, and she drew in. 1.6 million viewers on Ion, and which it peaked at 1.2 million. And that was the same night with the Eagles and the Packers play the same night. Now, I had already told people this because there was a video came out and something I was supposed to work on myself because they was talking about week three in the NFL, this going into week two. Next week, the Fever has one game left. That's on a Thursday night. Now, you know that game, that Thursday night game, next week will be against, I think it's the, the Washington Mystics. They travel to D.C. to the Mystics to play them. And so with that being said, Caitlin Clark in the NL Fever has continued to knock down ratings. So from this article uh, from sportsmediawatch.com, if if you have it, subscribe it. If you see it on X, then go ahead and subscribe for it. So I'm just going to read a few things right here. It says, even a po even opposite of the NFL game, Kayla Clark and the NFL will play to another seven-figure audience Friday night. On the fever, the Friday's fever links game, WNBA game, averaged 1.26 million views on ION, um, making it the second to 22nd WNBA total class this season to hit the million mark threshold, 23rd, including the NBA draft. All, all but three of those telecasts have future feature Clark figure, including viewership. For the Aces Suns and the Wings Dream, which aired on Ion in their respective homes home markets, the telecast, which peaked at 1.2 million, hit seven figures despite competition from the from the Packers Eagles game that was um, an international game over in Brazil um, on Peacock. Now, which people had to subscribe to Peacock to watch that game, you know, because it was NFL. Now, if it was on ESPN or um, or NBC, regular NBC, then we, you know, we would probably look at it. But nevertheless, um, I I told people because I actually I watched the whole fee, the Fever game, and I didn't even watch the NFL game until I guess until afterwards. So. It goes to show you that a lot of people are tuning in to Caitlin Clark versus the NFL right now. Now, once the WNBA season and the playoffs starts, most you know, and most likely that the Fever will be in the playoff, it's going to go against certain games, you know. And one guy that I I have his video, I should have um I could have played it, but. He's illustrated that the fever could be going against a certain time slot on a Sunday or a, yeah, a Sunday or Saturday depends on the playoff schedule and who they play in the playoffs. Now, if they match up with the Connecticut Sun in the first round, that's going to be must-see TV. That's a top team versus uh, uh, Indiana Fever team with Clayton Park. That's going to draw viewership. That's going to be a gr great game. Now, depends on what 
the week three slate is. It could be Caitlin Clark could be in between the one o'clock and the four o'clock window. Like if her game comes on at three, okay, people will turn in because the one o'clock game is still playing and then the four o'clock game will come later. Depends on what is the four o'clock game and what is the one o'clock game. Like this Sunday, she plays at three o'clock and I think she plays the Dallas Wings. So therefore, she's between the one and four o'clock NFL window. So which people will say, well, hey, there's no game coming. There's no good game or games probably be halfway over or halftime. They probably tune into the WNBA game. But most people is going to tune in anyway because of Caitlin Clark. It's amazing that she's she's drawing this much coverage early in the NBA, early in the NFL season. It's crazy because you think about it. The Packers and the Eagles, I mean, the Packers and the Eagles, which could have been like marquee. Now, say, for instance, if it was the Raiders and the Ravens, then that could, you know, that might have been a little bit different. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, <clears throat> it was the first Nielsen's rating WNBA window this season to air opposite of a regular season NFL game. And the most watched WNBA game to air opposite of the NFL in more than 20 years. So when we talk about moving the needle in the face of the league, there make no make no mistake about it. I don't give a damn what nobody's telling you or what's anybody saying to you. Caitlin Clark is the face of the league. She's moving the she moving numbers. You think Asia Wilson could do that shit? Go against the NFL? No. You think Angel Reese could do that? No. It's only one person could do that, and that's Caitlin Clark. So when people sit here and say, Oh, they come to see us, they might do, but they come to see the megastar, the anomaly. The generation of talent. More than 20 years since game two of the 2003 NBA WNBA finals on NBC that drew 1.2 million. I wonder who would who was who was in that finals. One fifth of all WNBA games have hit the million viewer mark have come this season. Prior to the season, none had hit that mark since 2008. That goes to show you who's moving the needle again. It doesn't take a rocket scientist people to figure this shit out. Ion, the script on Netflix that started carrying WNBA games last season, okay, has now had six games this season averaging over more than a million viewers, all including Clark and the Fever. Friday telecast was the network's third most watched behind coverage, Future and the Fever Sky, the previous 1.6 million, and coverage, the Mercury um, Fever in July, 1.34 million. So that goes to show you, Ion loves having the fever on their telecast. You know why? Because it's going to break. And guess what? Ion's going to have the fever this Friday again because guess who they play? The Las Vegas Aces. Now, even though Asia Wilson most likely won't play, but you're still going to turn in Friday night to watch them. Later that night, a fully national Sparks, Sparks um, Sky game averaged only five... 514,000. That game ended end up being the season's fin season finale for Angel Reese, who said over the weekend that she would miss the regular season due to uh, <sighs> wrist injury. Now, I'm going to read some comments down here. It says, uh, opposite streaming only NFL games, ex executive Philly and Green Bay, um, I mean, it's a good number for GWC, but they do not get that if NFL was on NBC. And I don't know if that's true or not, 
because if you think about it, if if it was on NBC, how how much would you be engaged into that game? You know what I'm saying? If it's not exciting. Because, I mean, it just shows a lot this year that Caitlin has went up against a lot of viewership. Um, and one person said, in a season that's been full of impressive WMA ratings, this might actually be the most impressive of all, which I agree. Friday night NFL competition and the fever still managed to get a million views on Ion. That's just ridiculous, impressive. That bodes very well for the ratings and the playoffs. Even if, even if just for the fever games, John, how much did the Liberty and Aces get on ESPN yesterday? That's also that could also be preview of the playoff ratings, especially for non clock games. So so yeah, I mean, if you think if you think about this, if Kayla Clark goes up to against certain games, regardless if it's on NBC or whatever, it has to. The thing about it, NBC won't show nothing. Their games until night, so that's on Sunday night. So therefore, the Fever don't play play at night anyway. So, but if you think about it, Thursday games on if if the Fever play Thursday next Thursday, and let me see. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and check the schedule real quick, real quick. Um, not this Thursday, but next Thursday. Next Thursday is the last game of the season, so you have the Fever and the Mystics. That's they go on Amazon Prime, so there is no NFL football on Amazon Prime next next week. So Thursday night football don't start until later. So that's that's a game, and most likely they'll be on. Um, that's their final game of the season. So if you look at the NFL slate for the for week two, the, uh, let me see this Thursday. Let me see for week three. So that's the nineteenth. The Fever play the Fever play the Mystics on the 19th on Amazon Prime also. So you got so so you so next Thursday, so you have the Fever game on at seven, and then you have the NFL game on at, at 8 15 um next Thursday. That's the ninth. That's the 19th. And you have the Jets and the Patriots. Guess what? Caitlin Clark, that Caitlin Clark and the Mystics will be a, the most watched game on Amazon Prime because nobody's going to tune in to watch Aaron Rodgers and the Jets and the Patriots, especially with the Jets looking like what they did. So that's going to be another ratings boost for the Fever against another NFL team. So she's going against that squad. And then if you look at week three schedule, Going down into the that weekend, the twenty second, you probably have you got the Eagles and the Saints at one o'clock, Buccaneers and Broncos at one o'clock, Packers and Titans at one o'clock, Giants and Browns. Let me look at the the, the four o'clock schedule. Okay, you got Dolphins and Seahawks, Ravens and Cowboys. That's probably going to be a good game. Um, Rams and Forty Nine, Chiefs and Falcons. Commander, commanders play on that Monday night. So, if you think about it, if her, can't, if her game, if she plays the Connecticut Sun and she goes up against the Ravens and the Cowboys that evening, that's going to be that's gonna be really telling right there because her game most likely won't come on at 4. It'll come on at 3 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? That's Sunday. And then it and then it and it depends on how close that game is, it's, it's going to pull viewership in because that could be the first round of matchup against the Connecticut Sun. So nevertheless, we can't not dispute the fact that what Caitlin Clark is doing 
um, against the NFL right now. And I'm going to read something from Athlon Sports, Athlon Sports right now. Um, so, like I said, the, the game that the FIBA beat the, um, beat the Sky over a week ago, that game averaged 1.6 viewers and peaked at 1.9 viewers despite airing during the Oklahoma Temple College football game. It was the most watched WNBA game on ION. See, that's what I'm saying. She's knocking out these records like, like it ain't clockwork. And I and like I said, she's going, she's going, she's going to get viewership. She's going to get a million viewers, no matter what the NFL record does. If they if they get a million viewership and she gets a million viewership, hey, people are going to say, well, you know what, hey, let's go. You know, Caitlin Clark is building that in now. The, the, the what the WNBA going to have to do is going to be like, look. If they want to ride that, and they say, "Well, hey, if all our w, if our all our NBA games in the playoff doesn't get garnered viewership, what it will be beneficial to us to have Caitlin Clark advance in the playoffs, continue to advance in the playoffs, maybe advance to the finals to bring in that viewership against NFL teams? Because you got to think about it." I think the New York Liberty probably would be the only team to, that garnered that viewership because of their popularity in New York and stuff like that. But I don't think they will get it with a marquee matchup against, say, you have to put Caitlin Clark against somebody like the Liberty or like the Aces to draw that viewership in, you know, or like the Minnesota Lynx. You know, but I don't think uh, the, the Minnesota Lynx and the New York Liberty, even though Liberty has their own fan base, the Minnesota Lynx does well. I don't think they're going to draw in a, a, a lot because people will say, OK, well, there's no more Kate McClark. Well, guess what? In the playoffs, why are we going to be watching? They're not going to be tuned in. Nobody really ain't going to want to pay no attention to Asia, Asia Wilson because no, nobody really likes her. You know what I'm saying? So everybody will be turned off for her. But they'll still probably turn in to watch the Liberty play. But if Kayla Clark continue to advance in the playoffs, people going to be continue to tune in no matter what. I don't care what game, no what NFL game is on. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what? Yeah, it might be on Fox. All right, CBS. But if Kayla Clark is on ESPN, her playoff game is on ESPN. Would you? How you think that's going to pan out? Everybody's going to turn to ESPN. It just it's going to be what it is. It, it's just it's going to be what it is. ESPN is going to pull the ratings for a Caitlin Clark game in the playoffs. Like I said, it will behoove the WNBA to to allow to have Caitlin further the playoffs, win the first round, get into the second round. Match up to see and garner viewership. Long as she's in the playoff, because if she gets, say she gets knocked out the second round, that's it. Nobody's going to be paying attention to it. Just a little bit here and there. But anyway, leave your thoughts and comments below. Caitlin Clark, knock it out the box. Knock it out the box, Kate. Knock it out. Knock it out the box. You know what it is. At the end of the video, let them bell, keep them bells ringing, and I will bring you more videos between the commanders and the Indiana Fever. And you know what I say about at the end of my video? You know what it is. Hey, so amazing. Uh, you see how they playing? Uh, live wire. It's all about sports and entertainment. Uh, you don't want to miss it. So official like you never seen. Keep it going till the whistle blowing from the referee. Uh, everything from highlights and stats. You know that we got to run it back. Whether on the field or the court. You know that this is where it's at. Uh, subscribe, no delaying. Uh, this is live wire. Uh, sports and entertainment. Let's go. Hey.